The following exercises are suitable for these prosthetic knee joints. Apart from that, always consider the user's physical condition. Franziska and Gerhard show how to reduce the use of walking aids until Gerhard is able to walk unassisted. Four-point gait provides increased safety, but coordinating the movements can be a challenge. Gerhard trains the sequence of hand and foot placement while in the parallel bars. It starts with the hand on the prosthetic side, followed by the contralateral leg, then the other hand, and finally the prosthesis. The aim is to achieve a good stance phase with equal weight distribution. The trunk remains upright during the entire process. Due to the increased focus on the correct hand and foot placement, a discontinuous movement pattern may occur and stance release may not be triggered. A fluid motion sequence triggers stance release and this includes shifting the center of mass over the prosthetic leg and knee extension during terminal stance. Counting out loud supports Gerhard's coordination of a fluid walking rhythm. When using two walking aids in everyday life, two-point gait is the method of choice. Once again it starts between the parallel bars. The hands are positioned diagonal to the foot, never equilateral. The motion sequence is significantly more natural and more fluid. Pay attention to an upright body posture. Music or counting out loud supports the user in keeping the right walking rhythm. Three-point gait, where both walking aids are simultaneously moved forward, is not shown, since it is not recommended for use in prosthetics. The entire weight is placed on the walking aids and the prosthesis is not loaded. That could affect the functionality of the knee joint. When using two canes, the prosthetic side takes more and more load. Therefore, good balance is even more important. Reducing walking aids is a mental challenge and a big step for the individual. Outdoor training should be done with every change of walking aids. This increases self-confidence and is an important step towards independence. The reduction of walking aids takes time and is an individual process. The possibilities shown serve only as examples.